Jan, I know you're bound to be upset. How could you, Tom? I didn't expect it to happen. Just try and rationalize what you think with what you feel. I'm trying. Well, the way things have been between us lately. If it hadn't have been me with Avril, it could just as easily have been you with Masters. How dare you say oh, that? Because it's true, and you know it. No, it's not. Yes, our marriage has been off course now for months. Maybe even years. Well, if that's how you feel, perhaps you better get out. And what good is that going to do? No. We have to somehow sort this thing out. Otherwise... Tom, there's nothing more to say. Our marriage isn't off course. It's bloody well over. How does John know? Did Leo tell her? No, Leo wasn't home. He doesn't know anything about it. He does, Tom. There was a reporter around here this morning inquiring about the rescue. Leo knows everything. Hmm. Well, what did Leo have to say? He was very upset. And to make matters worse, I think he had some kind of crush on me. Huh. I had no idea. Well, I had no idea it was so serious. How did Jan take it? I'm moving out. Oh, Tom, I'm sorry. What a mess. Oh, come on. It's not your fault. But I know what it's like to be hurt. Look, the way things were between us, we were bound to split eventually. Jan and I only have ourselves to blame. Have you seen Graham? I was at Avril's earlier. Like father, like son. Oh, for God's sake, Lynn. Well, where have you been? Just out walking. I wanted some time. Well, why didn't you call or something? Mum's been worried. I didn't want to talk to anyone. Well, you still could have called, couldn't you? After all that with Dad, Mum's got enough of him. Yeah, and so do I! Now, just leave me alone, will you? Mum? Yeah, darling. Leo's home. Does he know what's happened? Yes. Yes, well, I'd better go and speak to him. I don't think he'll want to talk to you. You know Leo, he's uh, keeping it all inside. Oh, I see. Can we talk, Mum? Yes, of course, darling. Lynn, I'm sorry about your party. Forget it. It's hardly important with everything else that's been going on. What about you? Are you all right? No, I feel awful. I, I just keep thinking about Dad and her. I always suspected there was something, but I never thought they'd have an affair. And neither did I. Well, perhaps it's all for the best, anyway. For who? Avril Rolf? 
so darling for all of us. Now, come on, Lynn, you've got to admit your father and I haven't been exactly close recently. Only because he bought into that yard. No, not just that, darling. You were happy before that. We all were. Now he's ruined everything. Oh, Lynn. I don't know that I can forgive him for that, Mum. Good morning. Sorry I'm late. No problem. Thought you might be. You like some coffee? Oh, yes, please. Hey, I'll come and sit down. I'll do it for you. Oh, thank you very much. Look at all this post. I think I've been away for months. Ah, now I do hope this is what I've been waiting for. Do you know, I all of this three weeks ago. Yeah. I can't... Coffee. Right. Thanks. How did it go last night? Did he deny it? What's happening then? Tom's left home. We're separating. I'm sorry, Jan. She was in for a complete overhaul on the 3rd. Less than three weeks before the accident. That's no reason to assume the yard is responsible. According to the information I have, it seems Mr. Rolf charged the Hendersons for a complete overhaul, all right. But he didn't even have the hatch off, let alone tighten the joint. Now, just hold on a minute. There could be any number of reasons for that explosion. Not according to the report I have, sir. So, in Mr. Rolf's absence, I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask both of you to make a formal statement. I'm sorry. I realize you probably saved that boy's life. But his parents are pressing charges of criminal negligence against this yard, and there's nothing I can do. We know it must be difficult, Stan. Extremely mm. difficult. But your wife has a life of her own to lead. And so do you. Oh, yes. And you can live that life without drink, just as you used to. Mm. That time can exist again, Stan, but only if you want it to. Yes. I could build a boat for her, Janet. Yes, Jack? Did you have something you wanted to add? Well, only if Stan didn't want it to. He, uh, he wouldn't be here, would he? No. Well, so what's the good of hearing all that stuff going to do? Jack, we must be aware of our problems. No, I'm aware of my problem, all right. I don't drink a lot. I spill most of it. <laughs> <laughs> but are you aware, Jack, truly <clears throat> aware? Of why you drink. Well, I don't know, do I? I like it. I mean, does there have to be a reason? Yes. There's always a reason. Reason or problem. Well, what's the difference? I enjoy the company of my friends. I have a good time. I mean, that's all that matters. Is it? Why don't you share with the rest of us some of the reasons or problems you've had, Jack? The times you felt the need to drink. And then we can discuss if there is a real difference. All right. Where shall I begin? How about the last time you took a drink? <clears throat> what led up to it? I was thirsty. No. No, seriously, Jack. Can you relate to any of Stan's reasons or problems? Well, only Stan being short of cash. I don't have any marital problems. My wife popped off over 25 years ago. Would you like to tell us about her? Well, why bring her into it? I mean, what's she got to do with it? I didn't bring her into it, Jack. You did. Now, listen, Miss Silverton, I have three problems at the moment. One, my business partner. Two, my daughter. And three, Mr. Meadows. I see. Who's Mr. Meadows? My bank manager. <laughs> <laughs> then she followed me around most of yesterday. She just refused to let go. Tina said she didn't have any friends. Anyway, then I eventually managed to persuade her to play with some of the others. And I sat and watched. I wonder what it would be like for them when they grow up. Probably much the same. Maybe. But we should be able to change things for them. 
You know, I've been thinking, Leo. Abortion's not the only answer. I don't know. Right now, I can't imagine anyone wanting to be born into this world. <laughs> <laughs>